Why the U.S. Navy's literal combat ships failed. The LCS program experienced significant cost overruns and delays during its development and production phases. $360 million for just one ship was extremely expensive. This led to budgetary pressures and criticism from lawmakers and defense analysts about the program's affordability and value for money, but there was another problem other than cost. One of the key concepts behind the LCS program was modularity, allowing the ships to be reconfigured for different mission types, such as anti-submarine warfare, mine countermeasures, or surface warfare. However, delays and technical issues with the development and integration of these mission modules hampered the ship's ability to fulfill their intended roles effectively, and this allowed some critics to raise concerns about the LCS's suitability for certain mission requirements. For example, the LCS design prioritized speed and maneuverability over armor and survivability. This raised questions about the ship's ability to withstand damage in combat situations, particularly in more contested maritime environments against more sophisticated adversaries. Also important to mention here is that the LCS faced issues with reliability and maintenance, particularly with their propulsion systems. This resulted in unplanned maintenance and downtime, reducing the ship's availability for operations. These challenges and problems forced the U.S. Navy to modify its plans for the LCS program, reduce the total number of ships to be procured, and introduce a follow-on frigate design known as the FFGX program. 